Yes, thank you. All right, just stand right here. I'm going to group these Oh, hello. All right. Hi. We, this is our first bit of the experience, so um, I'm excited to um, to go out there and uh, see the fans of the, of the Green Lantern. <laughs> now, I understand that uh, you, this is the first time you've become familiar with Green Lantern. Uh -huh. What superhero had the most influence on you as a child? I really wanted to be Spider-Man. Uh, <laughs> I just think that... Well, I don't know, just getting to live in New York City and to fly around like that, I, I still want to be Spider-Man a bit. But, you know, I don't know. I liked a lot of... I, I was also, like, a Ninja Turtle fan. I know that he's not a, a superhero, but I really wanted to be a Ninja Turtle. Oh, my gosh. I know. He is... Raphael is good, too. Anyway, we won't fight about... Carol is far from a damsel Yes, she is. Yes. I thought it was wonderful. You know, to get to rival the hero is something that's so unique because the woman is always the one on the train tracks that he saves and she's the one that the villain is dangling in front of him. But she has to save Hal a few times and, you know, she's also his boss and she doesn't start as his as his love. Um, you know, they have a history but they also, you know, they have a good history and also a bad history. So it's, it, it was a really nice dynamic to play every day. No, Blake, you're, you're a brunette in this. Yes, I am. <laughs> Do brunettes have redheads? Uh, blonde. blonde. You think well, I have red know, hair? I'm looking going, I thought you were blonde, but it looks like a little red on top. So Rose gold. <laughs> uh, you know, the brunettes made me a little, you know, I, I felt a little more serious as, as Carol Ferris with my brown hair. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it was fun being brunette, it was very different, the way that you, I feel like just even the way I moved was different, it kind of, it changes a lot of things about you, but that's also inhabiting Carol, who is a strong, tough, tough girl. Craziest stunt you got to do? Um, I was on the, the Matrix rig, which is like this 30 foot tall, um, 20 foot long arm that has this gyroscopic waistband that you wear, and you're just like, it's, it requires so much core strength that I didn't have. The first time I went on it, I, they said, okay, just take it easy, and I just spun like crazy, and I felt so nauseous, and they said, okay, so you're not going to do that again, right? <laughs> Which, you know, and then you have to control it, and it's, it's such a delicate thing. It was really, it was really fun. Thank you.